If there's one thing that annoys me, it's being forced into a polarized position. But sometimes you simply haven't got the luxury to take a nuanced position. You don't have the luxury to try and be balanced about something because circumstances simply don't allow for it. And what is currently happening in the world is one of those situations, I'm afraid, where you simply cannot be balanced, no matter how hard you try. You see, I can make an observation about what is currently going on that is absolutely valid and undeniable. And that is, if we look at the thousands, thousands upon thousands of Muslims who are currently out in the streets of Pakistan and many other places, rioting, causing damage and even killing people over this movie that's been released through YouTube. Then I will look at that and I will observe that since there are 1.6 billion Muslims in the world and there are thousands out in the street rioting and causing mayhem and even killing people, that means that at least 99.5% of Muslims in the world are not out there rioting. They are not out there causing mayhem. They are not out there causing damage. And they are not out there murdering people. However, however sympathetic I might be to the offense that these people feel at this movie it is quite disheartening to see somebody like Salman Rushdie express in a recent interview that in the current climate in which people are too afraid of extreme riotous behavior as a result of real or perceived insults to a particular religion that in the current climate if he in the current climate were to try and publish his novel the satanic verses then in the current climate he thinks that his book would never be published. And that is something that is intolerable. This would have been a work of art. This is not a crappy, badly produced video on a site like this. This is a novel and it's a work of art. And as a result of the atrocious behavior of a few thousand people, this cannot happen. This book would not be published today if we were to try and publish it today. That is intolerable. That is giving in to atrocious behavior to the point where you are actually shooting your own freedom of speech, freedom of expression and everything else in the foot. And that cannot be tolerated under any circumstances. I do think that spokespeople from the American government have been behaving exemplary in this particular situation. Obama and Hillary Clinton have made statements in which they condemn the nature of this particular production, this movie that's on YouTube. And they have every right in the world to do this. They have every right to exercise their freedom of expression to state publicly what they think about this stupid piece of shit of a movie. What they cannot do, what they can never do, and what we should never tolerate is for this to be silenced on the basis of the fact that a few thousand people are kicking up an almighty stink over it. That 
cannot be tolerated. That so many people, so high up in the American government, have already expressed their anger at this, their disdain for what this movie is and what it represents, should be enough. All the rest is just histrionics. And if any of our governments give in to that by actually banning this piece of crap of a movie, then you're bending over for hooligans. Hooligans. Not Muslims. Hooligans. Rioters. Scum. That's out on the street causing mayhem and murdering people. You are not even doing that for the benefit of the 99 and a half plus percent of ordinary decent Muslims who are not out there causing such a stink. Think about it. Don't fall for this kind of pressure. Thank you.